Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gifts Since 92. Giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me. The Queen's back at it again, and welcome to a brand new episode. So, I just got finished listening to the one and only Fantasia. She just released her new album, Sketchbook. I just got finished listening to this album. I just wrapped it up a few minutes ago. And here is my honest opinion on Fantasia and her new album. This album is so good. Fantasia is underrated, period. And just growing up listening to Fantasia ever since she started her career on American Idol and seeing and to see her blossom and grow into the artist that she is now it's a perfect example of how I want artists you know like Fantasia to really you know just stay true to their art stay true to their sound but also don't be afraid to switch up their sound and experiment and really in the case of Fantasia like I said she has been pretty much one of like the successful R&B artist of her generation because Fantasia she did start it off in R&B but as Fantasia you know throughout the years she has maintained her R&B and soul sound and even with, ten with Fantasia's voice Fantasia she gonna bring it to you period she can sing and she is a powerhouse singer and really in this climate of today's R&B music, Fantasia has really set herself apart. And she's done that since day one. Um, she has maintained longevity, which is the key. And for her, you know, to keep making albums, and this is her sixth studio album. And Sketchbook is a really great and solid body of work in terms of how Fantasia is able to still keep afloat in today's music climate and she's able to stay true to her artistry but she also like I said you know switches it up like with the production and even give you know she gives her fans a little bit of everything um, this album has a combination of a variety of genres so you know we can't box Fantasia to one sound um, I hear R&B, gospel, I hear rock, I hear neo soul, just a lot of different artists, I'm sorry, just a lot of different sounds. So really this album is really good and Fantasia for her to always experiment with her music, you know, she's not afraid to take risks. And even with Fantasia's, you know, her as an artist is like, for her to keep making good music despite the climate of the music landscape because like I said honestly I don't really like today's music but I do stick to what I do love and what I do support I love artists like Fantasia because she has always gave us that soul you know you can hear it you know the way how she's singing down you know her passion and really that charisma where it's lacking today's music but this um, album has 12 tracks so I'll run down the list we have History, PTSD featuring T-Pain, Believer, Enough, The Way, Bad Girl, Free, Holy Ghost, Take Off, Fighting, Warning, and Looking For You featuring Mama Diane. My favorite tracks off this album is or are History, PTSD featuring T-Pain, Believer, Enough, The Way, Bad Girl, Free, Holy Ghost, Take Off, I'm sorry, Fighting, and Warning. So, you know, these tracks are a perfect example where Fantasia was able to take the time and really create an album that really had um you know she has a little bit of everything she has like the um trap turned up records she does have the gospel records she does have like the sexy and sensual records you know and really 
in Fantasia's case is like this. Artists who are able to move with the times and stay true to their art is rare. And Fantasia is not the only artist that, you know, is doing that. But since this is about Fantasia, listening to this album from start to finish, there is not one bad record on here. And since I love music and I'm able to listen to different sounds and I grew up with music because I listen to like different you know eras of the music you know from previous generations and Fantasia still you know she does you know bring it back like she's pretty much a crossover between of like her older generation like the new generation because really Fantasia grew up with like the soul singers before her. You can hear the influences in her music. You can hear how she sang it down in her harmonies. And really what I love about Fantasia, she's also not afraid to experiment with her vocals. You know, she's very like dynamic, um, diverse when it comes to her singing, you know, singing. You know, she's able to, you know, know how to carry a record without feeling forced, without feeling like you know she's pretty much is vocally trained because I already know and I like that for her she has a lot of confidence you know so she really knows how to give like her fans what they want and for me to see Fantasia grow and evolve you know as an artist it's like I'm really happy for Fantasia I'm really proud of her I know that she has came a long way in her music career but she basically is able to just really just stick to what she knows but she also is not afraid to take risks and she's not afraid to try new things with her music that's why i get very frustrated with today's music especially today's artists nowadays because it's like you know either they're just sticking to one sound one dimensional and then the production is mediocre you know and you know it's lazy it doesn't have the thrill but the production on sketchbook you know those records that Fantasia brings to the table like with her singing you know I hear like the R&B trap music and she does well like some of the records like PTSD featuring T-Pain that record is more of an R&B trap and hip-hop sound um, it, it has more of like a today's current, but she does make it as her own. And then it's another, it's uh, some other ones. The free record, this record is another one like that trap art, like trap R and B and hip hop sound. Where it's like Fantasia is able to like, you know, really stay afloat. And then you got Holy Ghost, which is another record, it's another one of my favorite records because it does have like that upbeat, that driven, that bass, the production is so like, it's fast paced, but, the, but then when you hear it, it's kind of like, it just takes you to another level. Um, and I also think that, you know, for Fantasia to continue making music, it's like this. I always say this, the artists that, you know, like I said, they have a passion for making music, they're going to do it forever, as long as they can. So when you have a passion to do something, you're going to do it, regardless, you know, and I like the fact that Fantasia, you know, she even knows about the music business and, the, you know, the BS, but she has stayed humble and resilient and she knows her worth as an artist. This is, um her first independent project from her record label imprint um so she has her own record label and so sketchbook is her first album under her independent record label so that's great that Fantasia was able to have the time to start her own record label and put out this album and I think that Fantasia pretty much to me she's a gem of music because for her it's like this this album right here like I said you know I was really blown away I mean she really she really slayed I mean just like the different instrumentations the lush vocals the swag the confidence you know she really brought her a game on this album it's pretty much one of my favorite albums that came out in 2019 so of course this album goes in 
one of my favorite 2019 albums of this year because the thing is artists like Fantasia you know she is popular in the R&B and soul world but she also like I said has a love for gospel music so she's in that department as well and also she's into like the rock and pop and she does well you know even the record warning I heard I think it was warning and if I make a mistake guys let me know down below but warning I heard some rock influences and I was like whoa Fantasia you really stepped me your game up but see that's the thing it's like black artists throughout the years they really have redefined the genre of music and they have really stepped their game up you know formulating a sound that you know was original and they set trends this album right here Fantasia she set her own trends but she's been doing it since day one but it's like I really recommend I highly suggest like even artists that can sing and have a passion for music I would say study Fantasia and study other artists who like I said you know are not afraid to push the envelope of music because what I'm saying right now um you know artists are really taking matters into their own hands making the music that they want to make knowing their fan base and knowing their audience as long as you know your fan base your audience your networking and you work on your craft and you're focused on your music as long as you got a team and a management and stay consistent you'll be good because really with this album it's pretty much Fantasia's best body of work is another album that it is one of her best bodies bodies of work now I know her other albums like I said I know that other fans they will pretty much mention her other albums which are her best body, bodies of work but I think that sketchbook should be another one you know in her catalog because it was like really I was really pleased I was really thrilled I was so satisfied with how she was able each record she was able to carry her own artistry she was able to like flow in with the times and when I heard each record it wasn't like you know you couldn't really follow through I think this album is cohesive as well and it's not all over the place but for, for I'm sorry 12 tracks um, you're able to really hear you know different you know just different like what's the word hmm it's like she's versatile and it's just different stages it's like different like emotions vulnerability it's just a combination of everything and really she's pretty much saying in her heart out her soul you know she's pretty much like you know she's bringing that real good music back where you can feel it and you can hear hear it and some R&B records she even these are my favorite ones Believer is one of my favorite records because it has like that modern day R&B soul record and then Enough Enough is one of my favorite standout tracks because I did a review on Enough and if you guys haven't check check it out check it out and I said this song right here is really like a really good record you know she pretty much is bringing back like that that sound of R&B of the 90s a little bit mesh with the 80s like R&B you know you get to hear like that traditional R&B but then a little bit of a modern twist like with that magic feeling and the whimsical and just just really like that authentic kind of remind me of how like Anita Baker's sound I love An Anita Baker everybody know who Anita Baker is her sound pretty much that record remind me of like the sound of like Anita Baker because Anita Baker she made records like this she made records like that nostalgic and love and all that good stuff so really Fantasia really tackled really well on that record because it was like about love and having the love that you know she wants to have and it's like you know I can't get enough of it so really is like it's an A plus in my book and also the way it's another record it has like that R&B 
late 80s um, sound you know it's like that slow jam but you can hear more of just a little bit of like I would say 80s R&B ish yeah I, I, I would definitely say it. it just gives me more of like that 80s R&B sound um yeah so I really really you know enjoy this um, sketchbook album I think that Fantasia once again she did it again and I did look at other album reviews online to see you know like I said the critics what they had to say about this album um it's a mixture it's like pretty much some people like it some people don't but majority of the album reviews she's doing well you know like I said like people they do acknowledge that she is experimenting with her sound you know she is experimenting with her music and she's able to keep up with the times of today's music so that's really good in her favor and it does work well in her favor because not many artists can do that not many artists that especially like when you enter a new generation of music you know unfortunately some artists are not able to connect with like the new generation of music lovers so really if you have a balance of everything and you're able to like connect you bring like that old school flavor and you tap into like the new sound of music you're able to work you know well and balance out and not lose yourself and you know just make quality music you'll be able to be good you'll be set period but overall I give sketchbook a five out of five Fantasia you did a great job on this album sketchbook it's a really good body of work we really do appreciate you for your music for all these years and even though like I said some people may not you know want to credit you you will always be like known as one of the best to ever do it period and yeah um that's all I got to say so Fantasia fans um what do you guys think about um this album sketchbook let me know down below please let me know about your thoughts and opinions don't be afraid to hit that notification bell don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button don't be afraid to like, share, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, stay tuned to the next episode of Gibson Night 2, Dragon Ball Z Narrator Reference. Peace. Bye-bye. The Super Saiyan is out.